All right, are you in need of some new dresses for this spring and summer? Aren't we all in need of a new dress every spring and summer? <laughs> it's certainly something I like to add all the time, really. I'm kind of always on the lookout for dresses. So recently I did hop into the Amazon website, picked up several, and wanted to share what I found with you today. So if you're interested to see what I picked up, then just keep watching. Hi there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Liz. Thank you so much for dropping in today. So I do have an array of dresses. Now, they are mostly gonna be longer. That is a style that I prefer. I find it just a little more covering, a little more modest, a little more can go anywhere. I am 5'8", just to let you know. So, you know, you can kind of gauge the length for yourself based on that. And I'm usually a size eight to 10 US medium large. So I did wanna go over a lot of the details of the dresses and just let you know some things that you might not notice just looking online. Of course, you can ask me any questions down below. I do read the comments, I do respond. And then at the end, I'm gonna tell you my favorite three. You tell me your favorite three that you liked on me and maybe your favorite three too. That would be fun, I think. So I love hearing from you. So be sure to comment. And none of these are gonna be styled. I wanted to give every dress a fair chance. So nothing will be styled. I did steam a couple of these out, but I tried all of them on without accessories, without sunglasses or purses or different shoes because I wanted to get a real good idea of just the dress. So all of the dresses I tried on with just some gold flip flops that I had from J. Crew. So let's get into it. Okay, the first dress that I wanted to share is this navy off the shoulder with a lace overlay or kind of a sheer and lace overlay, really pretty. I like to have these kind because they are thin, they are flowy, and that off the shoulder look, I think just gives a more dressy look. You could definitely wear the sleeves up in the day if you're walking around a cute little town, and then just easily pull the shoulders down for a quick and easy dinner ensemble. And then of course you could add a really pretty belt, maybe in white or black with coordinating shoes would be just lovely. This dress does have some lining. It does have a stretch in the middle. And I really liked the detail at the edge of the top right here. I think that's really pretty. So overall, I'd say an easy wear dress. I did pick this up in a medium and I did like how that fit. So more recently, I've been getting into orange and I saw this dress, which was giving me orange or peach vibes. And in, in real life, it's giving me those too. And it does have a little pink as well. So I actually really like this design. I was surprised. It's real lightweight, it is thin. I would wear a slip underneath. And I will tell you these top buttons, do unbutton if needed. There's a drawstring that is kind of included. You, I mean, I guess you could remove it, but I don't think that would be beneficial. So it's nice, it adds a little. You can wear it loosely tied or tighten it up to give a different look. The bottom buttons are just for show. They are a small wooden button, which is really nice. But overall, I was pleasantly surprised by this one. It actually shocked me. <laughs> overall, I just think I like the design, I like the colors, and then kind of the extra details are something that I don't really have. And then it is a high-low, which I kind of think is a little bit dressier look for a daytime look. And so this would be really cute with some really pretty sandals and maybe a denim jacket in the day. The straps are adjustable as well. So overall, a really cute dress, and I did pick this up in a large. Okay, and the next dress that I tried is this red little floral, which I kind of think is a classic. So this is a more substantial fabric. I would say it's thicker. It, it has another layer. It doesn't feel as see-through. It does have the adjustable spaghetti straps, and then it does have the shirring in the back. So it gives a more fitted look. This was a little bit snug on me and I picked this up in a large. So I would actually prefer a size up and then to kind of belt this cinched waist a little bit more. But I like the length. I loved the kind of contrasting floral design. I mean, it matches, but it's just a different style. It just gives me kind of a scarf, boho, almost country vibe, which I really liked. And then the top was real modest as well. So I'm gonna exchange this for a size up and I think it'll be perfect. All right, next is this really fun 
I guess Hawaiian vibe floral, which I've been getting into, which is very interesting. If you see my dress that I'm wearing today, I, I always put my outfit of the day at the end of the video too, if you're ever wondering what the whole outfit looks like. So I did pick up another floral and I actually really like how this fit. It was real flattering. I would say again, it is on the thinner side and because of the straps, I don't think you could wear a traditional slip. So what I do in a case like this is get a long slip and just wear it right under my bust line. So at least you can't see all of the button bottom. <laughs> and then of course your bra covers the top. So this does have pockets, which I really liked. It came with this contrasting belt, which I, you know, wasn't for me on the dress, but it's nice to have that option. I would probably use one of my belts if I wanted to belt it, but I actually like how this kind of laid just naturally all by itself. And I'm always on the lookout for a dress that I can wear just casually, but that also looks cute. And this does have adjustable spaghetti straps as well. So overall, really love the length and feel and co fun colors of this dress. This next one was a little different for me. I just loved it on the model. I was like, I have to try that. So even though, look at how short the top is, I was like, even when I got it, I was like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna fit that? <laughs> so the back has shearing and just these details are really nice. So I really love this black trim that it has and it's almost like a thick, like soft linen and it's totally lined. Like this is just a really lovely, fabric and quality really. I actually haven't picked up anything like this on Amazon before. So really unique. And my thought in purchasing it was obviously I'm not gonna wear it separate. If you can, you go ahead. <laughs> That's not something I'm gonna do. So what I usually do in a set if I really like it is just pull the skirt up higher. And then you could do, if, if that, you know, if that wasn't secure enough for you, you could also wear like a tube top underneath, like a white tube top or a tank top even, just in case you know any midsection sticks out, which was gonna be my backup plan. But I was able to comfortably wear this together and I'm actually really looking forward to wearing this on vacation this summer. I think it's really cute, really great quality. I like the thickness and I'm kind of always on the lookout for really cute white items because I love wearing white in the spring and summer. And I did wanna mention the skirt does not have pockets. It does have a zipper so you can get a more fitted look and the top has a zipper as well. But I picked this set up in a large and I was able to just slide it all on perfectly fine. Okay, so this dress, I let me start off by saying I love the color. So I love this color. It's almost like a brick red, I would say. This was a color that I think Banana Republic was doing really hard last spring. So I have several things in this color. I really like it. I would say this dress was not the most flattering on me, but this is maybe something I would wear lounging around the house or maybe if you're just gonna be hanging out somewhere at the park or something super casual. And I wanted to have kind of a convertible top dress on hand. One, you can obviously tie the straps in a knot like I did here on the hanger or in a bow as I did when I wore it, but you could also make this into a halter top. You could also tuck them in and it could be a tube top. You could also wear the whole thing as a skirt. So really what I was going for is just this like light material. I love this color and really the versatility of the piece. I just think it's a good item to have on hand and I'm sure I will get some wear out of it this summer. All right, and next up is this polka dot dress, which I thought would be great. Maybe really you could wear it to anything. You could wear it to a church, to volunteering, just as a daily dress. I was actually thinking this would be good for work if I put like a white linen blazer over it and some really cute white sandals would be really pretty. This bow here isn't doing anything. So it's just there. You could really almost cut it off if you didn't want the bow. And the buttons are just for decoration as well. But it is pretty thin, so I would definitely wear a um, so I would definitely wear a slip underneath. But I like that the sleeves can go again very versatile. So if you're wearing this to work in the day with the you know sleeves up 
would be totally, you know, work appropriate with a little blazer. And then if you're going out to dinner after, you could just make it off the shoulder, which would be really cute. No pockets, not a lot to it. And I just think it looks classic and classy. And this lightweight material is gonna make it perfect on those hotter days. And next up is this navy and white, kind of dot, but not polka dot. <laughs> kind of busy pattern and I think sometimes you need a busy pattern with a little bit of a darker dress because you can really wear it anywhere you can wear it in a business setting you can wear it in a you know a more casual setting this dress I picked up in a large and I will say it's a bit large on me so the whole top area was a little bit big it does come with this belt that is completely detached and there are not loops or anything so you can kind of wear it wherever you want and then it does have a little button here so you can make it a little more conservative on top or leave it open i found the top to be roomy so if you do find you need a roomier top this one is roomy the sleeves are long with some elastic at the end and so you can wear those at any length and then overall i would say just a classic it is pretty sheer so you do want to wear a dress under a dress or a slip something underneath you definitely wouldn't want to wear this just by itself and it does have an elastic waist so you can just wear it like that or add a belt again i think most of these the i mean really anything the you know the thing that's going to spice it up is how you style it and the accessories so all of them are really really great bases at least all right and the next dress i picked up is this black and white which i would say is a spring and summer classic so it is a lightweight material real flowy for some reason i picked this up in a small so i don't know if that was on accident or if it suggested it but it was far too small <laughs> It was very squishing on the top. This area right here is sewn, so there's no button. You cannot decide where it is. And I actually probably would have done fine with a medium, so I accidentally picked up the wrong size, and that's okay, I could size up. It does have an elastic waist, it is lined, no pockets. I would say just a classic, so if you're in need of a classic cut dress that's flowy and just a nice design. I think this is another good option. All right, and along the lines of just going for something casual and comfy, I picked up this classic, just kind of a tank top dress with a flowy bottom. I did opt for this brown color because I have been loving brown. I think online I thought it was darker, but it is actually lighter. It is a light brown, maybe a tan, but it does have pockets. I like the thick straps. It was really comfortable, really lightweight. I would dress this up with maybe some accents of black. You really, you could accent it with any color. Red would be beautiful too, or a navy. So, you know, you can't go wrong picking up something in a neutral because there are so many colors that go with it. It just feels good overall, a nice flowy classic material. All right, and next up is this, supposed to be fitted, black long dress, and I actually really like it. So I recently picked one up from H&M and it was really thin, but it was kind of what I was looking for, this kind of gauzy material. This is way softer, it's lined, it flows better, it has a slit, nice slit in the back, which I like, which my H&M one does as well. So that one I'm probably gonna donate, and this is gonna take its place. <laughs> This is a lot nicer. Uh, so I, I'm really happy with this. So another item that you could just throw on some really cute slides and a really cute purse with this simple dress and you already look just, you know, already elevated, classy, and it's comfy as well. So a great find. And last but not least is this, I guess, orangish red with some blue detail and it's short. <laughs> You might be going, Liz, that doesn't look like you. I was actually considering this as a bathing suit cover. So I was looking for another bathing suit cover and most of them open in some way. Most of them, like I have a button down one, I have a sarong, you know, the different wrap ones. But I wanted one that you could just take on and off. Real easy peasy, could throw in the wash, something just like this. And so I wanted to try this out and see how I felt as a cover up. I will tell you the buttons, 
The buttons are not real. They're just there for decoration. The sleeves do get longer, but I like that it has this tab. So it kind of could look like a dress. So maybe if you were at the beach or the pool and then you threw this on to maybe do a little shopping, it wouldn't be too off, but it is very sheer, very, very sheer. And the length and everything overall is fine. I, I don't think I would wear this as a dress, but as a beach cover up, it is a great option. All right, did you guess my three favorites? What were your three favorites? <laughs> All right, number one, the black dress. I, I just love how this felt. I loved everything about it and I love a class that, could, that can be dressed up or dressed down. All right, dress number two the orange and peach one. I just really love this combo and really the details and the high low again makes it kind of an elevated everyday casual to me. I think that I could wear this with flip flops or some really pretty sandals and dress it up for dinner. So peach and orange for number two. And what do you think about number three? <laughs> Surprising. I was just, I was really impressed with the quality of this one. And it's a, a lot different style than something I would normally go for, but I really liked it. I, I just think the details are really neat and something that I haven't come across and excited to wear this out in the world. I hope this was fun for you. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a like. And I wanted to thank you so much for dropping in today and spending some of your time with me. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you have a really great day and I hope to see you in the next one. <music>